the name of many guys. Bad guys. Yeah, yeah. The people know you are from other country. Then he take you for you for rub. And in the in the corner he rub. Push. Push. You guys, we got some stares at us right now. Everybody keeps telling me not to film. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, we met OG. No? Okay, okay. Okay. They don't want to be filmed, so let's go. Come on, bro. So we're going to go now enter in to what some call the favelas of Lisbon. Let's go. Welcome to the tourist infested city of Lisbon, Portugal, here on the banks of the Tagus River or the Rio Tajo in Spanish. Now, while the city does have a lot to offer, I'm more interested in something else, something a little bit off the tourist track. So let's go to Lisbon's dodgiest hood, Cova da Mora. Let's go. But before we adventure, we got to get some breakfast. Bom dia. Bifana, um bifana e sagres. So you guys can see the the bifana there. They stew it in a concoction of garlic, other spices, just a nice little baguette. And here we go. Voila. Four ninety. Four ninety. Thank you. Bifana and mustard. All right. All the other most of this is spicy. Yeah. Oh, spicy. Yeah. All right. Good for, good for the blood for breakfast <laughs> all right obrigado so we're gonna try the spicy sauce get the blood flowing so i met julian he's from germany and uh, we're gonna go do this adventure together today but first we gotta have this spicy breakfast with a beer let's give it a go mm. when it's really cold man it just hits a spot it's almost like a sweet honey but also spicy sauce at the same time red cheap and cheap, 490. Cheers. All right, you guys. We found the transportation. Let's get to, I mean, go to Cova da Mora. Be careful. Beep, beep. We have the most powerful moped in the whole city of Lisbon. We can barely get up the hill. <laughs> Push! Push! So I guess this is like the financial district of Lisbon. Look, it's pretty modern. Wow! So we found this super beautiful green park. Wow, check it out. It's called Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park, the middle of winter, February, looking for dinosaurs in Lisbon. We had a problem with the moped here. We're out of the driving zone, so the moped died. We're in the middle of this gigantic park. It's massive, it's beautiful. Uh, but now we have a problem because we have to find a place to backtrack, park, and then, um, yeah, find a way to get to the ghetto. So, so as part of the adventure, we'll figure it out. So you guys, that was a complete disaster. We got stranded in the park. We were trying to get a hold of the customer service. We were basically just like, wasting like two hours there, but we finally made it out. We even had to drive on the, on the freeway and we could only go like, <laughs> 20 kilometers an hour, a complete disaster. So we're gonna compensate ourselves with some caldo verde. Let's give it a go, caldo verde. Oh, wow. Brothy, some greens, nice and warm. Wow. So for you history buffs out there, it's well known that Portugal were the pioneers during the age of exploration. Therefore, they colonized many parts of Africa. Of course, Brazil, the most famous one. And one particular nation that became independent in 1975, Cape Verde, well, they had lots of people that after independence immigrated here to Cova da Mora. Bom dia. And so this neighborhood here, this bairro, this barrio, is majority Cape Verdeans. So we're gonna go now enter in to what some call the favelas of Lisbon. Let's go. 
Wow, they got Smurfs. This is what you see on Google. Wow, check it out. Built on a hill. Bom dia. Hablais inglés? Inglés, español? Español un poquito. Esto es Cova da Morra, no? Sí. No? Puedo grabar video aquí, YouTube? Conoce el bairro? Sí? Mi nombre es Elio. A mí? Where are you? America, Estados Unidos. How do you walk here? Here, here. Okay. Go here and enter the city. Okay. Always. Okay. Thank you, friend. My name is Elliot. 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 Yes. And you? Michelle. Michelle. You're from Cabo Verde. Cabo Verde. Ah, de Lisboa. Hola amigo. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Bien? Pues gracias, nos vemos. Bien, bien. <ríe> Uy, coño. <ríe> vale. Chao. <ríe> wow, you really do get a vibe of uh, favelas just a little bit. It even looks a little bit tropical. <ríe> We got some dogs eating there. <ríe> All right. So we're gonna walk up. We did, we got permission. I'm sure not everyone would do this, but uh, they gave me good vibes. So let's go find out what we can see. Maybe we'll go join those guys later. Hola, bom dia. Bom dia, niños. Wow. So you guys, basically, from what I've researched, it's like Brazil, he says, the favelas. This was built in the 70s. Uh, illegally and of course the city of Lisbon has wanted to displace these people to build new constructions this is hot real estate wow you can even see little tiny narrow alleyways we're gonna go check those out later very hill you can't see but very interesting nonetheless bom dia como estas ben todo ben wow si sí. Vamos a caminar por el bairro. It's really nice, you guys. Beautiful day. The weather just gives it a whole different vibe. Hola, bom dia. Que fases? Windows. Windows. Oh, you speak English. My work is uh, a door. Oh, you. Yeah. Uh, windows. Okay. Construction civil. Civil construction. Aluminium. Okay, yes. you're working today. This is your sh your shop, carpintaria. Yes. Also, yes. oh, you're carpenter, welder, windows. Yes. What's your name? Story. My, my name is Manuel. Manuel? Yes. Uh, it's a Spanish name. Yeah, okay. Elliot, nice to meet you, Manuel. You are nice, yes. Yes, we're going to okay. meet people yeah. in the barrio. Nice. Yeah. Okay, Cova da Mora, good barrio? Uh, yes. All right. Yeah. Hola. So, some people um, don't like the camera here, but most of them seem to be friendly. Should we go this way? Let's go up. Let's go explore. That's what we're here for, you guys. We're exploring. So uh, I met Julian here. He's from Frankfurt, but he's pretty much an international guy. He lives on the road. I met him in the, the hostels. Ghettos. Yeah. <laughs> he's been to Brazil. He's been to Colombia, Malta. He's, he's been around. And we clicked as soon as we met each other. He's like, let's go to the, the hood. All right, so here we are. Wow, check it out. What time? Como estas? Todo bem? Gracias. Wow, so interesting how they've built these places and lived here. Now I've heard they do tourist groups here. Um, but they do guided tours here. I haven't seen anyone come here alone. Um, Wow, check it out, we've got some chorizo. This is how they cook food here. Check it out, chorizo. Chorizo, wow. All right. All right, you guys, we got some stairs at us right now. Let's see what's going up. There's a little street party, it's a Friday afternoon. Hola. 
No? Eh, ok. Eh, turista, eh, quiero conocer el bairro. Para allá. Ok. Eh, fiesta. Vienes, fiesta. No? No, no. Ok, ok. Ok. Alright. They don't want to be filmed, so let's go. Come on, bro. Wow. <laughs> Super interesting. Bom dia. It's actually quite extensive, the neighborhood, you guys. And so Cape Verdeans is in... Cape Verde is off the coast of West Africa. And it's one of those nations where there's actually more people living abroad than in the country. Another country that would be like that would be Cuba. Majority of Cubans living in, of course, the United States and Spain, etc. Um, you know, there's not a lot of natural resources here, so of course they've immigrated abroad to look for a better life. But it's difficult to adapt to a new country, even if they speak the same language. And so, of course, they come to a place here like Cova da Mora to live amongst their countrymen. And yeah, hola. Let's see if we can uh, get inside and join one of these parties here. I'm sure those guys would um, lighten up to us, but one of the problems is that oftentimes they're very suspicious in these neighborhoods. They don't know what my intentions are. They might even think that I'm a secret police. That's actually happened to me in Spain before when I go to gypsy ghettos. Um, they're suspicious. They think I'm undercover police. Obviously, I don't look like I'm from here. And then of course, once they talk to me, they realize I'm an innocent foreigner, just uh, trying to get to know people. So yeah. Wow. Julian, what do you think, man? What do you think of that party back there? Really? We no, no, those are the guys no, to know, no, right? No, 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 you have to be careful, bro. With that. But the camera there. No, no, no. They said no film. Yeah, yeah, no, but I was following the scenario after we left. Though. I really need to meet a local that will help me uh, meet some people. Oh, there's some amazing views up here, you guys. Let's go give it a look. We're on a little hill here. What Gia? Wow. This this is actually pretty big, bro. Yeah. Wow. So different than the center of Lisbon. Oh. Hey, how are you? No, no. Um, I want a YouTube video. I want to eat, uh, uh, drink beer. Where? There. Ah, drink beer here. It's okay to film here? I think yes, but not the Not the face. Okay. Okay, thank you. You speak great English. So here we eat or drink. Hey, Julian. We can drink here. We can get a beer here. Yeah, yeah, let's get one. All right. What's here? Uh, dos Superbook. This is where the party's at, you guys. Obrigado. Quanto? Tres euros. Como? Tres. Dois. Dois. Oh. Everybody's in there <laughs> rolling joints. <laughs> ah, hey, bro. How are you? Cheers, man. It's always fun to come on adventures like this. It's real travel. It was good that we left there because they were staring behind us and uh, I. They were already like even the guy because I was on the phone. He was like, uh, he was uh, pretending. He was, you know what I mean, like. Yeah. So Julian here was um, in the German military for a couple of years. He even served in Afghanistan, right? So sometimes what happens is when I'm filming, the ability to see around you is a bit compromised. So it's good to have you know someone checking on my back. But in general, like people can realize that I mean no harm. 
Yeah, but you have to you have to always have your eyes in front and in the back of your head. <laughs> yeah. But we aren't in the historic center, guys, that's for sure. We're actually quite far out. You saw the journey here, it was quite long. And usually these neighborhoods are in the peripheries of the big cities, in the outskirts, so to speak. So yeah, we're, is we're isolated out here. And it's interesting, you guys, because obviously the history isn't pretty, but this was part of the slave triangle, right? West Africa to the Caribbean, back to the Iberian Peninsula. And you see the diaspora, all the different ethnic groups that have cycled through the triangle here. And what's left of it is what you see now in 2023 and the Caribbean. The Caribbeans went to London, you know, the UK. Some of them have came here to Lisbon, Portugal, etc. Of course, the United States, all over the Caribbean, Brazil, the Caribbean coast. Uh, and someone like, for someone like myself who loves history, who loves geography, that's one of the things I'm most interested in when I make these videos. Okay. Where are you from? Are you from Portugal? Yes, I'm from here, Portugal. I born at Lisbon, at Belém. You know Belém? Belém. Yeah. Belém. I like this because you got more nature here. You know? Yeah, beautiful nature out there. More peaceful, more peaceful, yes. more peaceful. And authentic. Yes. Nice neighborhood. Good. Yes. Places. I respect. Because some people, if you want to live in the city, you don't talk with no one, you go to your yeah, yeah, you, know. your you don't talk. But yeah, everybody know everybody. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's like family. Yeah. When you do, so, yeah, it's just like a family. It's, family, yeah, it's a community. Yeah. You have to respect this, this style of life. Because yeah. some people come here just brum, 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 no, no, no. with some stuff. Hey, bro. Look, and I was born in the ghetto. We got a bar here. We, he, he, the owner is from Guinea, or I don't know, but I know her more just like eight years or something like this. And the, the mom of in all over this year, my sister take care of the bar. Sister from Guinea, sister, but it's yeah, yeah. Hey, bro. Todo bem. Si. Como estás? I have with the bar. Sorry, fish. Hola. Bom dia. Espanhol ou...? É americano. Americano. Já não é americano? Sim. Cabo-verdeano. É, Cabo Verde. Cabo Verde. Sim, eu sei. Como da Moura, bairro Cabo Verdeano. Bairro Cabo Verdeano, misturado tudo, Sim. rasta, portuguesa, brasileiro. Uh, tudo. É um lugar tranquilo. Sim. Estou tranquilo que ninguém não faz nada. Não, pra, não passa nada. Não há problema. Turbi. Eres é, rapero? Rap, hip hop? Rap. Rap. Uh, Música. Música, eu gosto de música, de música. Okay. gosto de música. Eres... Não, eu gosto de dança. Dança, dança. Dança, agora para cantar. Pois, muito gosto, muito, muito gosto. Muito, muito gosto. Ei. Hey. Yeah. Nice guy. So, bye, bye. Okay. okay. All right. Everybody keeps telling me not to film. Um, but actually really nice people, but of course, you have to respect their privacy. So we're gonna go find some rappers because I want to freestyle rap. <laughs> I can actually freestyle rap, believe it or not. Bom dia. Slim Shady. So he's... first right, he said. Okay. Hello. Oh. Okay. okay. No problem. Uh, uh, no, we no, met OG. Film, not filming. Yeah, yeah. Not, not filming, filming you. Yeah, yeah. OG rapper. Yeah, I'm with looking, him. Make look, music. He's looking for the rapper. Bro. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, no worries, brother. Thank you. I'm not yeah, filming bro. you. Trust me. Okay. Ciao. <laughs> what? Okay. No, no, no. Let's go. All right. Put us away, man, for a second. Put us away. Hello. Hey, bye-bye. Okay, okay, see you. All right. Wow. So we've... All right, you guys. So we had a little confrontation. They didn't allow us to film, uh, but we met apparently the rappers of the hood and they wanted to charge us a significant amount of money. They wanted to charge us money to film. Um, like I wanted to improvise a freestyle rap with them and they wanted to charge us. So let's go this way. <laughs> yeah, I, they were uh, giving us some really dodgy looks. 
How did you feel there? Man, we, we, we were bro, holding, bro. we were holding our own, but bro, I, I, I felt amazing, but I was a bit worried about you, because yeah, they were yeah. not looking too happy on one stage, uh, right and left. Yeah, they. they were not there was probably about 15 of them and one of us, and I'm not saying anything would have happened, but. No, no, no. There was a lot of tension, and uh, if I dared take out the camera to film, it was a matter of time until something happens. Yeah, so, so better are... to leave the spot. Yeah, good thing I had my pal with me. So we're gonna go find something else to do. Yep. And we found a couch. <laughs> we found we a, can build we a can living room there. out of this, man. Nah, but in all reality, guys, I really wanted to try to meet more people. Let's go this way. No, no, let's go this way. No, let's this looks interesting. Why. No, no, yeah. Just trust me for a minute, please. All right. The German guy who's been in Afghanistan on tour knows knows what's up. So yeah, I wanted to uh, see if I could um, freestyle like Slim Shady, <laughs> but yeah. it was a bit difficult. It was nice, man. You did. I freestyled, you performed, yeah. You performed well, man. You performed <laughs> well. But uh, the German guy has a content which is not appropriate for YouTube. So, see you soon, guys. Nuva, what's your name? Nuno. 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 Yeah. So, Nuno's from Cova da Mora. And uh, what's life like here in Cova da Mora? Uh, you're born here? It's cool. What's your favorite uh, American rappers? Uh, Biggie Smalls, yeah, Spark, 50 Cent. D-Mac. 50 Cent, G-Unit. D-Mac, brother. D-Mac, Eminem. Wiz Khalifa. Yeah, Wu -Tang. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. You listen to Wu Tang? Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. If you could live in another country other than Portugal, if you could choose, would you be interested uh, in living somewhere else or do you love Portugal? Portugal. The States. United States? Or Netherlands. Netherlands. Netherlands, yeah, 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 man. Dude, I'm telling you, life is good here, bro. Life yeah. is good. There's a lot of life sun. Is good, yeah. Have Cape you visited Cape Verde? Uh, three times. Three times? Yeah. What, what is it? Uh, do you like it? Do you feel connected to Cape Verde? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My parents are from there. there. It's your yeah. blood, it's your nature. Yeah, there. My, yeah, yeah. How did uh, you learn English? In the school. In school? In this, in, in the Bayro. Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's English teachers. Yeah. Well, your school yeah. was better than my school in Germany. Man. Okay, is the it school. institute, like high school? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, man. School, yeah. Nice to meet you, bro. Thank you. Uh, Take care, bro. Take care, man. Okay. Nice to see you. Well, you guys, we got to know Cova da Mora. It was actually a bit complicated. Like most of these places, not a lot of people wanted to talk. The other problem was I don't speak good Portuguese, like Spanish. Uh, so they're very suspicious of me, but that doesn't mean that it was all bad. There's actually a lot of really good people there. It's just a matter of getting to know people, establishing trust, which is very hard when you go there with a camera. So me and Julian, my German buddy and I, we're in the outskirts here. We're gonna head back to the center, get some food, call it a night. So yeah, I need some Portuguese food, of course. So hope you guys like that video from the outskirts of Lisbon until the next adventure. Adventure Elliot saying goodbye. Adios, hasta luego.